Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's catch up with Brian Clark, the All-American offensive lineman from Bloomsburg University since playing in that All-Star game in January out in California. Well, Brian, what's uh, the last couple of months been like for you? It's been fun. It's been been training down in a test sports clubs down in a Central Jersey. So we used to be going there, going over all, all the all the pro day drills, just getting ready for which was today was the final test. So. Well, uh, a lot of training goes into it. A lot of guys at Bloomsburg uh, being looked at and on the radar this year. Yeah, yeah there's a bunch of There's uh, five total. It was me, Matt Filer, Larry, and uh, wide receiver Glenn and Franklin. He couldn't participate today, but I know he's he's still waiting to get cleared and to have his test with the, with the with other teams. So. Well, Brian, tell us about the Pro Day at Bloomsburg University, which happened uh, today, which is April 10th, 2014. Uh, tell us how you felt it went on your end and, and some of the numbers that you were able to put up. It felt good. It's like I was happy to finally get done with it. We started, we got weighed in. I weighed in just under, it was 299, just under 300. And then we had a 29-inch vert, uh, eight eight ten broad. I had 33 on bench, which I was shooting for 35, but... I know I got 34, but they could have took one off if not extending. And I heard a couple of numbers on the 40. The, they averaged in about a, a 497 and a 519 between there with the wind and everything. So, And how do you feel about everything, uh, you know, as far as all those numbers together? Did you feel like you'd be somewhere in that range and all those? Yeah, I felt good. And now a couple of my coaches were up here, and uh, they all said I looked good, and they, they were getting word from the scouts, and they – Scouts that they're all solid numbers. So I was happy with it. You always want to, you always want to try getting your personal best on some on some of the drills. That didn't happen today for me, but all the numbers I put up were all solid numbers, and I like all of them. So I'm happy with the performance today. Brian, uh, talk about the the process of, of trying to make sure you have the right guy working for you, and and uh, making sure that uh, you know they're selling you for uh, for what you are, which is a, a hard nosed offensive lineman that uh, hopes to make an NFL roster. Yeah, my agent is uh, Joe Lentz out of JL Sports. He's based in Connecticut. And as soon as I met him, I knew he was definitely going to be the guy. He made his name finding small small school offensive linemen. And uh, he knew what kind of what kind of man I was, a hard worker, blue-collar guy, and that's what I like to base my play off of. He knew I was nasty on the field. So that's why I heard some – I got some in, inside information about him, and that's where he made that's where he made his name from, his finding D2. Division one double A offensive lineman that go under the radar and just get them in front of the old line coaches and we do our work, he does his work and it works out and we're talking with Brian Clark, uh, Bloomsburg University is uh, where he attended school. Today was the pro day, getting it all together and getting ready for the NFL draft. And uh, uh, Brian, uh, things could go real well that day for several Bloomsburg Huskies. Obviously, you're thinking about uh, how well they could go for you. I know you're rooting for the for the other guys as well. But uh, you know, is it does it matter what you're looking for, or you're just looking for somebody to say, "Hey, we're ready for Brian Clark to show up at camp and, and show what he's got." Yeah, I'm just looking for, you know, all all it takes is one guy to like you. So I'm just I'm just looking for anybody that wants to bring me in and give me a shot and I'm gonna take it from there and just put everything on the line and give it give everything I got. What's it been like for you? Because this is probably the first time in your life you're ever able to just concentrate on training and getting ready for football. You've put in the academic part, whether it was high school or a college, uh, and this has just been a different mindset. How's it been the last couple of months? Uh, I'm sure you, you're trying to make sure you could uh, stay afloat as far as money-wise like everybody else, but uh, you know, making sure you're just concentrating on eating well and training hard. Yeah, down at, down at test, they take care of most of that. We, we train twice a day. And uh, all of our meals are pre, pre they're prepared for us. So all we got to do is just pop them in the microwave, and it's all based on our nutrition needs and like all of our proteins provided. So it's like we're just really there to make sure we're putting it up, putting it in, put it put in the work in every day and just training hard. So it's like they take care of that. We just got to put the effort in. And that's what they tell us is like you just don't want to let no day slip by. Like you just want to give it your all every day because you only get this chance once in your life. So. How about the window, Brian, from this point forward? Uh, the NFL draft no longer in April. Uh, it's in May. And, of course, uh, how about those camps? How, how far along do they start shortly after the draft? They're usually about a week. You get about after the draft, it's usually about a week. The following week is you report to rookie mini camp. It's usually some teams are earlier, some teams are a little later. I know I was talking with Coach Devlin today. He said theirs are the 17th. 
And just from now into the draft is uh, some maybe some private workouts, some private visits. I went to the Chargers last Monday for a pre-draft evaluation and just did some board work with Coach D out there and got a physical, stuff like that. So it's like hopefully with the performance I've had today, more teams are going to want to make me come out there, get to know me a little better, and just take it from there and see how it happens on draft day. Brian, how about the contact part? Uh, you know, as far as coaches contacting you before the draft, how does that all work? Obviously, you said you have an agent, a guy who specializes, in, and you said uh, small school guys. Uh, how about as far as getting together with the teams? Are you able to talk with the coaches? Yeah, usually usually a scout will call you and set, set up a meeting or player personnel. And uh, I know like how it happened for the Chargers. I finally met the O-line coach. I talked to him once. We went out there and uh, just did some board work, got to go out to dinner with him, talk to him, learn about his background, my background, just just chit-chat, get to know each other better. So that's why I figure how most of the business are going to be. I know my agent said he's been talking to a bunch of teams for me and uh, about me and that they said they're interested. And like after the pro day is usually when teams are going to start doing a little private visits, private workouts, stuff like that. About uh, four weeks ago, the Giants came down here and worked me and Matt out together, and we went out to dinner and we did some board talk, just get to know us better, get us, get to know us, our football IQ where it's at, and see what, what we need to work on and what we need to get better at. How about as far as any contact with any current NFL players? Uh, you know, I know Henry Hanoski's a, a local guy, Chris Snee's a local guy, and of course, uh, Jari Evans uh, for the New Orleans Saints. Those are a few guys off the top of my head I can think of that, uh, you know, may have uh, the ability to talk to some guys in northeastern Pennsylvania. Yeah, I did. I, Jari reached out to me right before uh, Coach Flaherty for the Giants came down here, and he just told me what, what his process was about private workouts and what to expect. And just, just the, he just told me what he did and just said, you know what, just give it your all. Like, don't worry about it. Like, your terminology is going to be different from his terminology. And, like, your plays are going to be different. He's like, just show them that you could understand plays, learn them, learn them quick. He's like, you're not going to remember everything, but remember as much detail as you can. And that's what I tried doing, so... Well, Brian Clark awaiting the NFL draft in May, and if uh, he doesn't get drafted in the first seven rounds, he's hoping to get on as a free agent and teams talking to him, ready to go, a Division II All-American. Uh, Brian, as always, we thank you so much for taking some time out and joining us. Yeah, thanks you, John. Thanks a lot. All right, that's Brian Clark, Bloomsburg University offensive lineman, hoping to make it in the NFL here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.